Before you jump into the cockpit, there's one critical step that you need to take into consideration, and it's not what you think. Becoming a pilot isn't just about learning how to fly. I want you to understand the entire process, from setting realistic expectations to choosing the right training path. The journey takes time, dedication, and yes, a bit of patience. One of the biggest surprises for new pilots, aviation is a lifestyle. It's not just about logging flight hours. It's about a new way of thinking, planning, and decision-making. You also need to consider the fact that you're not just gonna learn how to fly an aircraft. You're gonna have to learn systems, so you're gonna be a part mechanic. You're gonna have to learn weather, so you're a part weatherman. You're gonna have to learn regulations, so now you're part lawyer. And if you wanna become a CFI, now you're gonna have to become a teacher and a coach. So as you can see, it's not just about your stick and rudder skills. There's gonna be a lot more that you're gonna have to master to take to the skies. Another key factor is understanding the different types of certifications and ratings and which ones you'll need to achieve your goals. So whether you're looking to fly for fun or you're looking for a career change, understanding the difference between a private license and a commercial license is gonna save you thousands. And one other key factor that a lot of people overlook is a mentor. Connecting with experienced pilots can help you stay motivated, keep you on track, and help you overcome hurdles if you hit any. My guide covers these topics more in depth and also includes things to consider like how to pick a flight school as well as other skills you'll need in order to succeed. 